everybody, Let's Turf with Life here, bringing you guys a brand new deck profile this time around. It is Cubix. This is not Trinity Nova Turbo, this is a straight up Cubix. I absolutely love this deck, it's such a fun deck. However, we're missing Dujo, which ties the whole deck together, so it's kind of lacking some things. But however, it's still a really fun deck, and hey, it's really cheap, and so if you guys want to try it out, I highly recommend it. Anyway, so let's go on to the deck profile. First and foremost, three of the main deck boss monster, uh, Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord. And basically, he's kind of like High Priestess in that you just reveal three other cubic monsters or spell and trap cards so long as they have different names. Special summon him, he's a 3k beat stick, he's unaffected by any monsters, activated effects that have 3k or less attack so Dark Destroyer can't pop him. And if he kills a monster in battle, he can attack again. Oh, and by the way, he takes he makes it where we both take 3k at end phase, which is really, really stupid. And can even cause ties, which is really, really good. Uh, also kind of annoying, but whatever. Next up, I play three, uh, I'm gonna butcher this name, G Gera, Gera, I can't pronounce his, I cannot pronounce his name, Gil, the Cubic King. Uh, the reason why I play three of him, is because he only needs one cubic monster to be summoned, so he's the easiest. He becomes 800 attack points and he does 800 damage to your opponent. Uh, whenever, after he has battled, you can send him to the graveyard, target two V-Jumps, special summon him, and search out a uh, Falcon Dragnet, if I remember right. Yep, Falcon Dragnet. Uh, really good card overall. I hate it how he has really low attack power, so weakest of them, uh, of the battle oriented ones, but he's still really, really good. Next up, I play three three V-Jom. You have to <coughs> you have to play three V-Jom. Okay, that is undeniable. You have to play three V-Jom in Cubix. If you aren't playing three three V-Jom, you're an idiot. I'm sorry, but it's true. Okay, V-Jom is the heart and soul of the deck. Without him, the deck cannot function at all. And he's just really good. He cannot be destroyed by battle. And if he battles a monster, you can set him into your back row as a continuous spell card and uh, put a cubic counter on your opponent's monster. It cannot attack or activate its effects. And then while he's in your back row, you can special summon him. He's just a really good card overall. Now we get to the main cubics. Uh, this one is Buster Gundil, the cubic uh, behemoth. He's the strongest uh, three card cubic. Basically, each cubic uh, monster is separated into by like, categories. There's two ones that need three monsters to be summoned, there's two that need two, and then there's two that need one, and then uh, it's just really kind of obnoxious. Basically, you summon him by sending three cubics you control to the graveyard, they have to be monsters. Uh, whenever you do, his attack points become 3k, and while he's on the field, he can attack three times, so he can do 9,000 damage instantly. He does, and by the way, that attack three times, that's any amount of three times. It can be on three monsters, it can be three direct attacks, whatever you want, and he can just push in so much damage. Damage. Another thing, if he is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target three uh, cubics in your graveyard, special summon them, and then add a cubic card from your deck to your hand. He is really, really, really good. Next up, two Endoria Doomvolt, the cubic emperor. This guy's my favorite cubic, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, he has the same summoning conditions as Buster. Uh, he becomes 2400 and uh, does 800 damage to your opponent on summon. Uh, same thing as uh, Buster as well. If he dies, just target three cubics in your graveyard, special summon them, and add one cubic card from your deck to your hand. He's overall a really good monster, but because of how many monsters you need to summon these guys, I only play two of each. I play two uh, Blade Garudia, the cubic beast. Basically, he needs two monsters to be summoned. He becomes 2,000 attack power. After he kills a monster in battle, you can send him to the graveyard, target two V-Jom, special summon them, then add one. I believe he searches out Buster. Yeah, he searches out Bun Buster from your deck to your hand. Uh, also, uh, sorry, you special summon three uh, V-Jom, not two. He needs two. Uh, also, he can t attack twice per turn. So he can just attack for 4K direct, and that's pretty good. And he's 2k, so yeah. Next up, two Falcon Dragni, the Cubic King. Uh, basically, uh, he has the same summoning conditions as uh, Blade Garudia, where you just need to send two guys to so control to the graveyard. Uh, he becomes 1600 and gain and uh, does 800 damage to your opponent. And uh, if he battles, you can send him to the graveyard, target three cubics, uh, Fijom in your graveyard, special summon him, and add uh, Endoria Doom Vault from your deck to your hand. Really good card overall. That's it for the monster lineup. Under the spell lineup, I play three Cubic Karma. 
This card is integral to the deck. You absolutely need to play three. Uh, whenever you activate it, you can target one cubic monster you control. Send, uh, but uh, it cannot be cube, uh, fee jump. So you target one cubic monster you control other than fee jump. Send any number of fee jumps from your hand or deck to the graveyard. And then your monster that you target gains 800 attack times the number that you sent. And that is a permanent stat boost even if this card leaves the field. It has another effect that it almost never happens, where if Fijom is special summoned by the effect of a cubic card during your opponent's turn, you can half your opponent's life points. Now, the main reason why you need three of this card is because of the simple fact that while it's in the graveyard, you can banish it, add one cubic monster from your deck to your hand. It is absolutely essential. Next up, three cubic wave. This card I also feel like is absolutely essential for the deck. Basically, you target one cubic monster you control and one monster your opponent controls. Uh, your monster's attack points are doubled and your opponent's monsters are halved. Okay, that is a permanent stat effect. Okay, so your monster is permanently doubled and your opponent's monster is permanently halved. This can end games single-handedly. Also, there is not a once per turn clause on this card, so therefore you can activate and resolve all three, making your monster like let's say for instance you use the. 3k beat stick, uh, you can make them 6,000, then uh, 12,000, then 24,000, guys. That is insane. So, now, granted, though, that never almost that almost never happens where you activate all three in one turn, but it's still possible, and, it, and I have done it once or twice. It has another effect where you can manage it and any number of cubics in your graveyard to distribute cubic counters to your opponent's monsters, equal to number of cubic monsters you banished, uh, minimum of one. Uh, basically, it's just it's really, really good. Uh, it just gets cubic counters on things, preventing them from their stuff. It's really nice. Uh, two Recurring Nightmare. This is mainly to get back the boss monster, but it can also get back Vijam if need be. Uh, so it's just really good and also allows you to go into multiples of the fusions. Two MST for back row removal. This deck does not like discarding unless it's one of the spells or traps. And for the one offs, I play one poly just for the fusions. Uh, one uh, full burial to get my Vijam in graveyard. One one for one to get to Vijam as soon as possible. One Book of Moon so I can punch over stuff because this deck does need to punch over stuff every now and then. And then one day apiece because sometimes you just cannot get anything out on field and you're going to be taking a crap ton of damage. Under the trap. And this deck plays quite a bit of traps. Uh, three record screen, just simply to try and get to Vijam and get through your deck as soon as possible. You need to get to Vijam. Like, that's the end of story. Because without Vijam, this deck falls apart so fast it's not even funny. Uh, two quick in uh, Mirror Force. I thought about playing three, but I'm going with two right now. Uh, basically, this is just so that you can attack over your monster, your opponent's monsters. If you guys don't know what this does, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, shuffle, uh, send, uh, sorry, not send, flip all monsters your opponent controls into face down defense position, they cannot change their battle positions. So, what is really, really nice is that that allows your uh, weaker cubics to get over things and be able to attack into things and trigger their effects without costing you your cubic monster. This one's a bit of a tech of mine. Two spiritual swords of revealing light. Basically, what this says is, is I can pay a thousand life points to negate an attack. I can do that once per attack. Uh, generally speaking, if a monster has more than a thousand attack points, I generally negate that attack. Uh, secondly, if it's in the graveyard, you can banish it uh, during your opponent's turn. Your, mo uh, your opponent's monsters cannot declare in a direct attack during that turn. Next up, I play two of the cubic fusion trap card. Uh, mostly just simply to use its effect to uh, get out a cubic monster whenever a cubic is destroyed or sent to the graveyard. But however, it also acts as a fusion uh, card. So it's basically a poly, but in trap form. And then finally, two cubic rebirth. This card is really good, but also very situational. And it's sometimes like you really don't want to activate it, but sometimes you really do. Basically, whenever a punch monster declares an attack, you target that monster, you negate the attack, then you special summon as many copies as possible possible from your opponent's hand, deck, or graveyard of that same monster to their side of the field. They all get cubic counters, including the original monster. Their attacks are reduced to zero and they cannot attack or activate their effects. And then you can special summon one cubic monster uh, from your uh, hand, level four or lower, ignoring its summoning conditions. So it's really, really good. It, the issue is, is that it, there's nothing stopping your opponent from just going into an Xyz in main phase two. Uh, unless like you used it on an Xyz or something, which doesn't really happen very often. Now then guys, I'm gonna be straight up and honest. The extra deck can be whatever you want. Except for rank 1s. Never go into rank 1s. Fijam is too important to go into rank 1s with. So really all you need is through the Fusion Monster and that's it. Because this deck cannot go into Xyz like ever. Uh, you almost never have a level 4 or 2 out on the field. It just never happens. So all you really need is one of the Fusion Monster. I just played 3 for the heck of it. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Booyah!
<laughs> Random boo, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that's the deck profile. Hope you enjoyed the deck uh, profile. Tell me what you guys think about it. Uh, please leave your comments down below. I love reading your guys' comments. Uh, thank you all for watching. Sorry if it's noisy. I'm up at my locals today, and I actually have a Saturday off, which is amazing. So, guys, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Peace out. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and see you all later.